go even further beyond! Yeah. My name's Akashi and in this video we're going to be talking about the Extreme Clash Raid vs Final Form Freezer Full Power. Now they're releasing this event and it's a very clean event, a very clean clean event where you can easily get 1000 chronos literally. So if you haven't logged in or haven't played it at least just once, I suggest you do because you're missing out otherwise it's the easiest chrono grab that you can grab honestly and the fact that everybody participates as long as we're all grinding it makes it easy but there's always going to be people that are going crazy because the rewards are pretty decent somebody asked me to actually talk about this the last time it was i think it was against trunks or something and i just didn't do it because i felt like it was kind of self-explanatory but um it'll be good to give some tips for you guys that i use anyways uh some units that you could use uh maybe for especially new players that don't know anything about this event but yeah before i get into that if you haven't already make sure to press that subscribe button on this grind to 10k all my socials are on the left so if you want to ask me a question make sure to leave a comment or hit me up on any of those so this is the youtube channel but we got twitter twitch reddit instagram and a discord link all in the description below so make sure to check me out on those especially the discord if you lit over there but um yeah let's actually get into this video now so i'm just gonna go into the event playing period um i've actually um cleared everything it's loading because i actually turned off my wi-fi just before this so I'm going to have to press retry and then it'll connect straight away. But I've actually cleared every single challenge. I'm going to talk while it's loading. Hopefully it will load in time. I've cleared every single challenge. That's usually what I do first. So I go for the dual impact. I go for the, the team formation one. I'm going to pull it out right now. Um, here. Dual impact clear within X amount of time. Uh, the same character, Sun Family, Blue Element. And that's all done just by using this Goku. This Goku can clear all of them literally in one go. I didn't do it in one go. I missed the dual impact one because... Freezer actually dies pretty fast with the amount of um, buffs that you can have, like literally it's insane. And the rewards are pretty neat. They do look very nice at first sight, but honestly the drops are pretty rare to get the good ones. So for example, you'll get the dual coins pretty much every single run, so that's cool. Dual coins are pretty useful and the drops are, are decent for how quick the actual raid goes every single battle that you do. And then for example, if you take the multi-Z power for extremes, they drop very rarely, there's a 50 and a 10, the 50 one's pretty nice but they're rare to get, very rare to get. I think the last event I did about 50 runs and I only got one, so some people even get in, in more than that, so just one for more runs than 50, so that's insane. I actually got a platinum coin in my second run which is pretty neat, and then I usually get a lot of razor heads, silver bells and then there's equipment stuff, but it's mainly dual coins that you'll be getting. But Obviously, if you're grinding, 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 you get you have a higher chance of getting any of these uh, pretty good, decent rewards. I suggest the platinum coins are the best things in my opinion. But if you want the Z power, obviously, then you can obviously boost up your EXs like EX Wii or EX Gogeta. Those are some pretty good e uh, EXs that you can grab. Um, let's actually go into what you should actually bring into the battle. So, I've got this team here. Um, let me go into my team formation. I've got Goku and Namek Goku. I've got in four stars, luckily. Uh, I've got Zenkai 7, Super Saiyan Bardock, GT, Vegeta, uh, Gohan, Sun Family, GT, he's not GT, Goku, he's Goku from the movies, um, he's 6 star so he buffs Sun Family, uh, Super Saiyan 4, Full Power Goku, GT, Goku, Scout of Vegeta, uh, Super Saiyan 4, Zenkai 1, Goku, and then Gohan as well, he also buffs Sun Family. Um, there are some recommended characters and I'm going to show you who's actually recommended, so I'm just going to go to the news where they actually fill you in. So you always should go to the news anytime there's a new event. It'll give you a lowdown on anything that you need to know. But if not, I've got it covered for you. So um, you can see here, these specific characters literally are the recommended characters that you should use. So you'd have the easiest time if you use these four characters. That's based off um, their, their, it's their event. So you should trust the game, honestly. Um, but other than that, if you don't want to use any of these characters, it also does give bat uh, battle bonus character tags. So if you say see here, you can actually see um, DBL 1505S. I believe that's Namek Goku specifically. Let me just check that. Yeah, DBL 1505S. You can see it there. It's also I think it also shows in the top. No, it doesn't. It just shows at the bottom right, underneath the Zenkai available from. So you know that he gets a specific buff just because it's him. It makes sense because full power freeze is kind of like his enemy. Um, not even kinda. But you can also use characters with any of these tags. So Sun Family, Saiyan, Zenkai 1 or higher. 
um, Zenkai won, it was like the the base. But obviously, if it's hiding that, they will be stronger. Period. And on top of that, just because they're a Zenkai character, they actually get a boost. Um, rival universes and God Key. Now, it also tells you the advantageous element. This is pretty obvious, but because Freeze is actually red, you should use a blue no matter what. So if it's a blue character, if any of these uh, battle bonus buffs, definitely utilize that character. I'm gonna give you a few that I'm, I've been planning on using, but mainly Namek Goku is the one that I wanna use because I have him. Uh, this bar that will fit pretty good because he's a Zenkai unit and he's blue. Uh, this Goku here, I just saw someone use him. The Super Saiyan Blue one, Vegeta Blue obviously. Um, Margin Vegeta would work pretty good as well, uh, just based on the fact that he's Saiyan. So like those are some good blues. I don't suggest using any other color about a blue. I feel like people just disconnect. I definitely disconnect. If I see any color that's not a blue, even if you have any of the other tags, I'm just gonna disconnect. Honestly, just use a blue. It makes your life easier, even if they're pretty crappy. Uh, someone used Trunks Youth. That was a pretty good one. I didn't expect it, but because he's Zenkai, he actually done quite a bit of damage. But if you have anybody with this Namek Goku here, you're gonna do a lot of damage, honestly. But um. Yeah, let's get into the actual Chrono bit. I know people really like <laughs> Chrono Crystal because you actually get to summon off it. So um, I'm actually going to go back into the details now. But basically, here is what happens at the end of the raid. So if we defeat it before this date here, so before the 9th of November, which is Monday, we actually get 20 of these coins. If we defeat it after that date, then we get 15. And if we delete, don't defeat it at all, we only get 5. But... Chances are we're going to defeat it, period. Like, there's no reason why we wouldn't. If we look at how far the health is down, it's only been a couple hours, literally. At the time I'm recording this, it's 12 p.m. The event came out at like 6 or 7. So, approximately uh, 6 or 7 hours. Or something like that. I'm not even going to count, but 6 hours. Let's say it was 6. Um, and he's got down this much health. And we actually have two more days until then. So, well, two more days roughly. So... I feel like the fact that people really want these rewards, we're probably going to clear it, which is why I'm pretty much saying it's an easy 1,000 chronos. Now, um, where you actually claim those 1,000 chronos, um, after the event's over, a few days after, so probably by Wednesday or Friday, hoping that we clear it before Monday or on Monday, uh, you see the Extreme Clash medal here? You can see there's actually lots of things here. So if you haven't got it already, I think this shop might reset. You, yeah, it's, it's, it's probably definitely going to reset because it says only two days left and I've already used mine from the last uh, uh, Extreme Clash Raid, but what actually happens is there's going to be a thousand, cro a thousand chronos that you can buy for spending 10 of these coins. So if we actually defeat it before, then we get 20. So you can actually have the opportunity to actually buy other things as well. So I think I bought like energy, skip tickets maybe, um, some remover, crisp, uh, remover slots, <laughs> but you can literally just spend it how you want. But you spend 10 of them, uh, it's 100 chronos for each coin, which is a pretty good deal. So honestly, easiest 1000 chronos you can actually get. Even if you don't even want to grind it out, you literally just play it one time. One time, probably uh, just to be safe, clear all the challenges. And then after the event's actually finished, you'll be actually able to actually get the, um, the Clash Raid coins that I was just looking at, the medals. So um, yeah, that's a pretty easy 1000 chronos you can see here. Um, use extreme clash medals you received after the event to trade for deluxe items like Zenkai Souls and up to a thousand chrono crystals, literally just what I explained. So pretty nice, pretty simple, like nothing really more than that, it's just about enjoying the event. Um, I might just like one gameplay at the end of this video so you guys can see just literally how it runs. It's pretty smooth, pretty easy to play. Uh, full power freezer does have a lot of health, but he does die pretty quickly, so yeah, but um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'm just gonna slap one gameplay so you see what like it what it, what it's like if you're not planning on playing. But um yeah, my name's Akashi guys. Press the subscribe button if you haven't already. On this grind to 10k, yes sir. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll be happy to show you my full power. You're really itching for a fight. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
Stay down. 